What's up, YouTube? Tommy from Massonomics here, and today we're gonna go over a little trick that's gonna make your life easier in the gym. And no, I'm not talking about squatting 500 pounds or benching 400 pounds. We're talking math. That's right, we're gonna talk about how to convert kilos into pounds. And with this one simple trick, once you show this off, your friends might think you're magic. The magic man. Now you see me? Now you, you don't. don't. So the first thing you need to know when you're converting kilos to pounds is that the kilo to pound conversion is kilos times 2.2 equals pounds. And if you want to get really scientific, the actual conversion is kilos times 2.20462, but no one cares about that. For the sake of this, 2.2 is going to get you really, really close 99% of the time. We're going to hop into some examples here. I'm going to write these out and you're going to see exactly how this goes. I think it's going to make a lot of sense. So let's take a look here. So for this first example, we're going to start with something really simple. A hundred kilos. How do we find out how many pounds a hundred kilos is? Well, there's just a couple steps you follow. The first one, you take it times two. A hundred times two, 200. I think everyone's got that. I hope you're with me so far. Now, the next step, you're going to take that number you just got and move the decimal point over one spot. So in this example, it would be moving that decimal point over one. So we're going to get 20 pounds. So we can just get that number out of there. So 200 plus 20, we're going to be at 220 pounds. Pretty simple one right there. Let's move that up a little bit more. Let's go to 200 kilos to pounds. We're going to take that times two. 200 times two is 400. Same thing. We're going to take that number, move the decimal place over one. So that's 400 plus 40. We are now at 440. You with me so far? This isn't too crazy. Okay, let's do, let's do something slightly tougher. 250 times two, we get 500. Same thing. We take off that last zero. 500 plus 50 is 550 pounds. Any more brain busters? <laughs> we'll step up the challenge just a little bit more here. 235 kilos. We'll take that times two, and we get 470. 470 plus 47. And just like that, we are at 517. LBS. Uh, let's do one last one. Let's do... 360 for those big boys out there. 360 times 2. We get to 720. 720 plus 72 gets us to 792 pounds. So after running through a few examples here, I think you guys get the rhythm of how this goes. Feel the rhythm. You can see the patterns. It's really not too crazy. You do a few more examples and you'll really get the hang of it. So the big one is just making sure you can understand the even numbers. You know, eventually you'll just get that 100 kilos is 220 pounds. 200 kilos is 240 pounds. Sorry, 440 pounds. 300 kilos is 660 pounds. 400 kilos is 880 pounds. The numbers get pretty easy after you do it for a while. Go do your mental math. Get good at this and impress all your friends at the gym. Once you're done with that, make sure you head over to the Massonomics website. Go buy yourself some of that sweet Massonomics gear. I have the weight as a number, heavy as a feeling tee on. You know, if we're talking numbers here, it's a great tee to go with. Uh, also, make sure you're listening to the Massonomics podcast. New episode every single week. Follow us on Instagram. And since you're here at YouTube, make sure uh, you hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a comment. We'll see you next time.